Have you ever wanted to buy something online only for the seller to demand cryptocurrency payment and nothing else? Or maybe you're having trouble paying with your card when the seller accepts cryptocurrency. Or maybe for one reason or the other, you don't want anyone to know your identity. Such you want to pay using cryptocurrency. If you run into issues making the payment, we are going to solve that issue for you. In this video, I'm going to discuss step by step how to pay for anything, and I mean anything, using cryptocurrency. Before you continue, there's one, one very important thing you need before you can make payment to any channel using cryptocurrency. This is a cryptocurrency exchange account. By far my favorite cryptocurrency exchange is Binance. By all means, below in the description I've included a link that you can use to sign up to Binance and get a hundred dollar bonus. But if you have an account with any other cryptocurrency exchange including Crypto.com, Kraken, Coinbase, it will work just fine. Step number one to paying with cryptocurrency is converting your fiat money to cryptocurrency. In this case, we're going to buy USDT or USDC. These are stable coins. They're pegged to the US dollar. They are convenient for payment since usually one USDT or one USDC is equal to one US dollar. The different ways to buy cryptocurrency, depending on your exchange. Most exchanges will have a peer to peer service, which is by far my favorite. Here's what happens. The crypto exchange acts as an escrow. As such, you, the buyer of the cryptocurrency, places an order that you want to purchase cryptocurrency from another user on the platform. The platform holds the cryptocurrency from the seller in an escrow. Then once you have made the payment to the buyer, they release the cryptocurrency to you and everything goes on fantastic. In case there's any problem with the transaction, any conflict, then the platform acts as an arbitrator. In my many years of using P2P on Binance, I've never had a problem with it. You basically say you want to buy a particular amount of USDT, you get a quotation, you make the payment to the seller, you send the confirmation to the seller, and Binance will release the cryptocurrency to you 100% of the time. Another way to buy, depending on your region, depending on where you come from, there may be an option to purchase a cryptocurrency just using your card. In that case, you just click the buy button, enter your card options, and make the part. Usually, it's just in a few markets. Most markets will not allow you to buy cryptocurrency using your card. Now, you have purchased your cryptocurrency. The next step is to make the payment. In this example, we're going to purchase SMS verification tokens from smsman.com. This is a website that basically allows you to rent a phone number and use it for SMS verification. For more details on SMS verification and how you can verify for a service without using your number, we have a video that reviews all these services, link in the description below. Here's what you do. You go to the website of the service provider you want to make the payment to and initiate the payment from there. So in this case, click on the buy button. After you click on the buy button, you will be given a description. The user will tell you the exact amount you need to pay. It will, it will also include Bitcoin wallet that you're going to forward the payment to. It's going to specify the network on which the cryptocurrency is and is going to specify the cryptocurrency currency type to make the payment with. It's very, 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 very important that you take note of especially the currency type and the network. Unlike other forms of payment, when you pay with cryptocurrency and you send to the wrong network, your money is lost forever for good. There's no way to retrieve it. There's no one to call. There's no visa to call. There's no MasterCard to call. As such, before making payment, please make sure that it's on the same network as the one specified by the seller. There are many networks. There's the BNP network by Binance. There's the ERC network. In this case, we're going to use the ERC20 network. So make sure you've taken note of the ERC20 network. Make sure you've taken note that you're paying with USDT. And after that, make sure that you take note of the amount. Now, we go back to Binance. Log into Binance. Once you've logged into Binance, you go to withdraw. You select withdraw the amount you want to withdraw. Then it will give you a form that you need to fill. So copy the address from the seller's page and paste it on your Binance account. 
make sure to specify the exact network again emphasis the exact network specified there otherwise your money will be lost forever for good and you don't want that happening never all right after that specify the amount now here's the shock it's actually quite expensive to pay with cryptocurrency that's one of the big disadvantages of paying with cryptocurrency thing is it might cost you as much as four dollars to just make the transaction that's why most cryptocurrency exchanges will have a minimum that you have to pay. They might be a minimum of $15, a minimum of $10, because it makes absolutely no sense to pay $4 in fees and make a payment of $1. As such, once well, what you're going to do is, in this case, we have a fee of $4. So what you're going to do is you're going to add $4 on top of the amount that the user wants us to make the payment for. In this case, the payment is $10. So we're just going to add $4 and make a payment of $14. Then complete the payment. Once you've completed the payment, Binance will tell you to verify by putting a token from your email, putting a token from your SMS, and putting a token from two-factor authentication app. Once you're done, you'll get a notification that the payment was successful. It may take around 10 to 15 minutes for the payment to process wait for some time you refresh the seller page and the payment will be done the process is basically more or less similar no matter what you're paying for where you're paying for you're basically sending money from your exchange to a crypto wallet just to conclude you can tell that paying with cryptocurrency is simple but it's actually quite expensive because there's usually a fixed charge depending on the network it's called gas fees some have a one dollar fixed charge some have a some have as some are as high as four dollars as such you have a minimum payment you have to make usually most exchanges will only allow you to to make payments that are 15 dollars and above moral of the story is only pay with cryptocurrency if it's the only option you have otherwise more often than not the fees are just still way too high maybe in future they'll be low but as of now the fees are way too high again if by any chance you're interested in making money online at least ten dollars per hour no matter where you are whether you are in the u.s whether you're outside the u.s we have a playlist specifically for you the playlist is titled u.s work for non-us residents the link to that playlist is in the description below don't forget to subscribe